What have you been hearing today? What's the track running like? I think incredibly fast. Um, somewhat basic. I think it makes everything incredibly important because you have no option for error. Like, I think the more technical tracks are, the more margin there is. But with something like this, it's really one line. You have to hit everything absolutely. Um, it's kind of goofy because you generally, to win one, you have to hit it relatively perfectly. But it's a one line track. You got to do it that way. Okay. Like very like, <laughs> like okay. especially in the steep stuff. Oh. I just feel like it's a bit like, I don't know, I feel okay. like I have to like extend my legs a bit because we're on the brakes a lot. Yeah. I feel like I have to extend my legs and kind of like, what did I just say to you? Uh, you basically were just saying that it's like popping you in half to kind of control. Yeah, so it feels like, ooh. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how cool. to explain that. We're at the same settings as we were in lens hide, okay. so it's sped up. I still have the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can maybe slow down a bit, but also it's quite good. Hello, fast. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I think we slow it. Slow our speed down. Yeah. Cool. Let's try that. Cool. Thank you. It, how's it feeling on like small bump stuff yeah. and Fine. it's good. Okay. It's more like honestly in the steep brakes on trying to like get the lines. It's a bit like especially I have to let it run to be able to get a line. Like I have to just let go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because under braking, I feel like I'm not going to get there. I know okay. obviously that's hard anyway. Yeah, yeah. But it just feels sure. like it's just a bit bouncy. Okay. Let's try this. It feels better. Okay. Can go a little more. It feels worse. Okay. The other way. Cool. Thanks. Okay. Thank See you guys. Good luck. Thanks. We slowed high speed rebound down once. Said it was just getting too much movement. And I know on that bike, closing compression generally isn't the way. So we're going to slow high speed rebound down a little bit and see if it settles down. It's so awkward. It's just like corner, massive drop into a corner. Of <sighs> what are we trying to get it to do? I feel like I want the rear end to sit up more because there's just so many like. <clears throat> And you're like, you go over a thing, and you go through the travel, and then but you've got to like turn and go over another one. And I, I mean, admittedly, I've only done one run. I have no idea where I was going, but I, I think that just try that. It's kind of like at home. It's kind of the same as like firing the booth, which is like steep and like yeah, like turns and and then when I put more high speed on. I tried low speed and it felt right, a bit better. Then I put more high speed on and it felt way better. And I could come out of the turns and I'm like up like this okay. instead of being like like this. Okay. But. Yeah, I added a touch more low speed and sped up low speed rebound one, so it'll sit quite a bit mm. higher, but shouldn't get any rougher. And then you know you go over a drop and then you're on the brakes and then there's another one and you're like loaded in and then you're like ah, oh. maybe yeah rebound. Yeah, just a bit. The front end feels okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I, I, I was going just really slow. But I've still got a space underneath. Yeah, that's okay. I think once you pick up speed, you'll really help. Yeah. Smooth out. And like, 
Yeah, and even the little, that motorway bit, just those little doubles. I just felt like I was going like right through. Okay. And, like into my back more. Okay. I want the bike to do it instead of my legs. Yeah, yeah. Like. Yeah, we can also go to the next step up in compression tune on the shock. If you feel like you're just continuously yeah. going through it. My legs were wrecked last week. I just kept, yeah, I just feel like it's just. And there's no pop off the lips and stuff. I'm like okay. really, especially with my front stiff. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, it feels just like I'm just like that all the time. Okay. But we can work on that now, and then if you feel like it, we can just swap it. What is it? Different instrument. Different instruments. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What? Well, and then I okay. Yeah. yeah. Put it actually on. Yeah. We've only got two hours. I've done one run. Well, get, no. get moving. What do you think? Swap it for this. Session. Take too long. No, I think we could probably get it done. Was well, it a shock? Yeah. We'll just, we'll just swap the whole it. thing. Yeah. Okay. But definitely want to get somewhat up to speed first. Yeah. I don't mind trying it tomorrow, maybe. Okay. Let's plan on that. See. I'll see how many runs I can do. Maybe three and then do it, maybe. Okay. That works. But yeah, probably should. What? It's, it's a high, it's just firmer. Tune. Yeah, so you'll be able to open the settings a little bit, but still get support. So instead of changing the spring. Yeah. Okay. It'll be good. All right. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Sounds sounds like it. Okay. Good. All right. Bye. See ya. Uh, said rear end's going in too deep, and she's actually closed high speed compression and low speed compression. So. We're, but that's one run, so we're gonna wait till she's up to speed, which maybe means body position changes. If it's the same story, we're gonna go to a slightly firmer shock, so that we have a little more room to play. What do we got going on in here? We are building a shock for Rachel Atherton. It's a slightly firmer compression tune than the one she is on. So we've got a list of all the codes the guys in Scotts Valley have been working on over winter. So we're gonna build the next one up for her and uh, she's gonna try it out. What does that entail for you? Is that a lot of work? Yeah, not too much. Probably 15 minutes work. Right, We've got uh, everything pretty well laid out here for a quick turnaround. Shims. These are all the shims. So we'll build a shim stack with different thicknesses, so this is a 45, a 6 and an 8 and the way you combine them and stack them in different ways gives you different damping car characteristics What do we got? Balance is good, Okay. positioning is good just need to, uh, in places, make it just stay down a little more like last week in Lenside, because it's just I said like the drop, same thing drop, 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 compress Eject, drop, compressed, okay. eject. So Places, I just need it to just stay down. <laughs> okay. It's the best way I can think so of So once it's weighted, it's you want it to stay yeah. weighted a little bit, a not. A little more. Last week I asked for the same thing, and I think you did it with high speed on the shop. Yeah. But um, it's actually quite a lot in the forks this week. Okay. Or five, five low speed on the rebound. Or six, six on low, five. What pressure? Just ran 83 this morning just to feel a bit more comfortable first run. It doesn't feel like I need to go firmer yet either. Yeah, like I say, weighting's pretty good. The general, like, if I'm in an attacking position going fast, it feels not, it's, we don't need anything drastic. We're yeah, yeah, just, okay. Just stay down a little and we're good. Hello. Yeah, nice to see you. And that's currently the same setup as last okay. week in the shop. What it feels like so to me is that the fork's yeah, not really that fast. It's actually a little slow. I did get some readings as well. But the shock feels fast. It it's might be doing the, that. Slow the shock down a Let's just slow the shock down one click and see I mean, what it gets you. After we did that on race day, if I had another run last week, I yeah. would have gone more. Okay. That, I, I think we should try it because that's 
what it feels like to me. Okay, like we're chasing something in the fork, but the fork's not. Think you're in. We need cool. a new schedule. You've got a shot. Yes. I did feel better then, but do you know like when you go off a flat drop and then you're breaking under it and the front's not the front's not going down at all. Yeah. It's all just like that really. Okay. That's what it feels like the whole track. And like you you're turning it's all just like flat drops and awkward turns. So okay. you're not actually like I feel like I'm not over the front at all. Then we can open up compression on the fork a couple clicks and see if it gets or you what you pressure. want. Or drop pressure. Or drop pressure, yeah. This is what is 83. Yeah. I don't know whatever you think. The back did actually feel better then. But you just never off the brakes. And it's packing, it feels like it's just packing up and the front isn't getting a chance to work. Okay. Like. Let's open compression first and see and what it, you think. It's, yeah, it feels a lot like. Because you know, you, not crazy you come high. into those bottom woods off that flat. That was yeah. like gnarly yeah, right, yeah. and you just like, and just drop flat, and then there's another flat one, and there's okay. another flat one. And it just doesn't ever feel like the front's. Okay. So drop. What? Which one? Two clicks of low speed open. So that's to minus. Yeah. Okay. So I thought it'd be quicker on this. God, oh, shit. Do you want me to come over there? Well, uh, it's at the finish, so I thought it'd be easier. To... Two low speed open. Yeah. Yeah. So I need to do more run to do that. Ah, it just feels like shit. Worst track I've ever ridden. No, but it's. It also is shit. Like, I feel like I just don't want to bother. Like yes, you do. No, but I don't. Why do I? Why? I don't have to. No, you don't have to. But it just there's... feels pointless. Like just to put yourself through all that pain and push like suffering. Because then you're done. I know, but it'd be after. better to stop on a win, <laughs> wouldn't it? Yeah. Should we get smart mode? Winning or losing, huh? It's just the process. Okay, so two clicks open. Yeah. So do you see any trends in adjustments today? Not really. I think it was really just trying to get comfortable. Like th there weren't any major adjustments. There's a lot of like futzing around, but I think it's, you know, it's like that super high speed, almost gravel. There's, so there's not a whole lot you can do, but then there's bike park stuff at the top. Then there's like all those root steps through the middle. So it's not, it's not like a bumpy track, it's like a kind of a G out track. But then you have all that flat gravelly stuff that you're ripping along on trying to keep, keep speed and just keep that feeling of security. It was so impressive being on track today. It's, it's never really possible to fully capture on camera what it feels like to be there, but the speeds and control that we saw on track today is just remarkable. And it's only the first day of practice, which means that things are just gonna be getting faster and faster from here. So we will see you tomorrow for qualifiers. <laughs> Man, the sun's shining, the butterflies are flying, birds are chirping, common saw's been quiet. <laughs> What more could you ask for? <laughs> 10 kids or 50 puppies? Oh, 50 puppies. I mean, shit. Yeah, 50 puppies. I just want to make sure, I'd rather not take care of 10 kids than not take care of 50 puppies. <laughs> so, I couldn't afford 50 puppies right now, but I'd give it a good try. Are you having a kid, Schaefer? No. Okay. Are you having a puppy? See, that's why I don't want any more kids. I mean, any kids. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> any. Do not have children. Hello. <laughs> that's not one of mine.